Welcome back, Panda Gang, to Saladin True Start Location. We're still trying to spread our religion. That's going to give us uh, more arrow score, plus two every time we do that to a new city. But check it out. The Phoenicians here coming into my lands. I think they are the Judaism. Yep. They're coming in here. Two missionaries. A little bit worried they might try and take out my capital here. Uh, a couple turns out from getting a new missionary. So let me get my other buddy right here. We're going to stand on the holy site. I think this means unless they can go into the sea... They won't be able to run rampant through my lands down to Sana. Maybe uh, Baruto will be a little bit harder for them to convert. And Medina as well. Gaul with the abs. Good to meet you, bud. What's your workout schedule like, huh? What is? What are you upset about? Ram? No, another just surprise war on me, dude. Oh, and now you're calling me a weak Gaul, huh? Whatever, dude. Not on steroids like yourself. All right, just looks like Egypt. They don't have any um, annoying city-states that are also going to destroy me. Going to get the, another missionary out, though. Um, don't, don't really like the looks of these Phoenician missionaries. Uh, and I don't have apostles yet, so I can't really fight them. It's kind of tough out here. Anyways, I hope these Egyptians don't know how to go in the water and, like, start invading my coasts. That would be pretty crap. Um, regardless, i got to prepare for that. So let's get our galley sitting there. Right in the way, we got another galley coming out in one turn. So the siege should be pretty well under our control. I see they got swordsmen. Where am I for swordsmen? Um, okay, I need to improve more sea resources to get a harbor, which I would like to build in Medina. And also, like, five turns, right? Maybe Medina will have to build its own builder and get these fish upgraded. I see that I do have production towards builders and naval units in right now. we got to switch up what we're focusing on, though. Iron working. Got a swordsman. All right, we do have iron to upgrade these units like warriors but we just don't have the actual iron sorry the the tech to carry that out more people caesar good to meet your boss oh i accidentally clicked i don't want to be your friend my bad dude my bad don't take it personal i already got enough people taking a personal man let's reassign victor to cairo i just counted out the tiles uh victor's plus four loyalty should spread all the way to medina it's not doing it at this exact moment because victor's not yet established but having a little bit extra, um, what's this, a Rito? Uh, extra five combat strength will be super helpful. Because the city doesn't actually have walls, which, you know, might have been quite an oversight on my part. But let's get the archer sitting inside and the warrior to sit right out front. Hopefully it can hold its ground uh, and just continue to heal itself up to 100%. And then we can keep the seas filled with these galleys. Oh yeah, look at that. They're firing at my galley from the sea. Hello, Victoria. Good to meet you too, buddy. And we found the cliffs of Dover. That's wonderful for the air score. They're chilling right over here in London. But yeah, Chariot Archer firing down into the seas on my galleys. I'm not that surprised. And honestly, it doesn't hurt my guy too much. So I'm fine to let it happen a couple times as long as it keeps this guy busy, you know? Dude, a man at arms? Man, we are so far behind in tech. It is unreal. Whereas Egypt here, 70 and 70. I got nine signs per turn. I don't know if this is going to work out, man, but we'll do our best. Definitely going to try and fire down the heavy chariot. It's a bit more scary than a spearman. And I was going to say, okay, walls are up next, but dude, we don't even have a walls of research. Okay, I don't think it's one turn. We will do that. In the meantime, though, we got to decide, okay, how much disrespect are we going to put onto these Egyptians? Like, are we going to straight up build a builder in Cairo right now? Because I need to respect the Egyptians' ability to take out my capital, but if I don't go for economy now, like, these dudes literally have seven to ten times more science and culture than me. Like, I need to get the eco going fast. Even if I had more units, too, like, it really comes down to a few crucial points here. Like, if this warrior survives here and can hold its ground, okay, we'll be fine. If it can't, we're pretty much screwed. Um, we'll have wall opportunity in one turn and then try and get swordsmen. Oh, what's this chariot doing? Is Egypt also at war with the Phoenicians? No, actually, they're friends with the Phoenicians. He's just going to meet his buddy, I guess. Masonry, we've got the ancient walls if we want to put those in. How many turns would that take? Eight turns. Okay. Quite a commitment. Anyways, let's finish off the spearmen. Yes, we've got a unit killed. Got 12 faith out of that, too. And look at all these apostles, dude. They're coming into my lands trying to take me over. No, 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 no. Can we get some panda going on? Okay, that gives me arrow score, too. Nice. And look at that. Following my founded religion actually gives me loyalty, too. I did not realize that was part of the game. Big improvement, guys. Especially when we think about trying to get this minus 20 city over here. That's going to be tough. But if we can get Golden Age, if we can give it our religion, put in Magnus, uh, and make sure it's happy. Hopefully we can get that city down and actually keep it. I'm just going to let this galley heal up. It keeps getting shot at by the Chariot Archer. But if it can just heal 20 health, or 15 health every turn and get shot a bunch, it'll eventually get promoted. Look, it's like halfway there already. And then we get free promotes, and this Chariot Archer stays in their land. Oh boy, that Chariot Archer... Sure does hurt my warrior. Luckily, it heals back to full, but 65 damage is actually a ton. Let me get my second warrior up here, just in case 
we need them. I'm just worried about this combo of Heavy Chariot plus Chariot Archer. One-shotting a guy, which definitely possible. Ah, finally we have an Envoy. I could get one Science. I could get a little bit more Production. Although I'm not doing any of those things. I could get two gold. Some of these are easy though. Oh, I could get a faith too. Kabul is just send a trader at easy enough. But I just realized Akkad is actually at war with me. Hopefully the dudes don't come on down through Phoenicia. Flood into my lands from the east side. Not prepared for that. The west side attack, we can handle the east side. Not so much. Anyways, I'm going to go in Bologna and get myself one more science per turn. All the way up to 10 now. That's pretty good. My boat, though, taking big damage. Do you heal? Do you heal? Yeah, plus 20. Okay, that's solid. It just takes so much damage from the dang chariot archer. Okay, uh, why don't you back off? And then we have our other galley that can come and do some offensive stuff in case anyone tries to get in these seas. Don't get in my seas, but... Oh, dude! Look at this chariot archer going into the dead sea, trying to do the wraparound on me. Buddy, you're going to regret that big time. 73 damage from the city. 7 faith. Absolutely destroyed. And it looks like these Indian uh, missionaries are just going right by my cities to Africa, which is kind of okay, because then at least I don't get wiped out here at home. But I do want to go and settle like settle my religion in Africa too. Monument completed in Medina. Now we would like to get, where is it? We would like to get Celestial Navigation. Let's put one more turn into that and then go to Ironworking. But we need to improve another fish to get that and get all that beautiful housing out of it, right? In the meantime, though, we can still work on housing with a granary. Let's check out what tiles we're working. Okay, we've only got one food surplus, so we're not really wasting too much by um, working so much food. But let's just stop it all together. Now our granary is down to nine turns from 13. It's going to hurt what's going on here in not San Sana, but it should actually work a different tile too. It should have been working the science this whole time, but now it can get on the reef. It's gotten itself one more housing because of what? Not exactly sure. Maybe there's something to do with the government plaza. I swear mines don't give you housing. Anyways, it can grow a little bit more now. Egyptians have returned just with the heavy chariots though. So that's not too bad. Pretty low too. Maybe I can finish it off this turn. Oh man, it got saved by the borders being revoked for, by the Phoenicians. Otherwise that guy was going down, bro. I got myself a builder though. Let's get irrigation. <clears throat> free science and then we'll move you further on down towards the fish down here medina could really use another fish uh, that'll give it housing too so then we can justify making it grow some more and if we look back over at this new city we want to make only minus 16 now and eris would switch over in six turns can we convert one more city and get one more era score from somewhere let's try here in biruta no majority religion and what if we go with the second guy still no majority religion okay we're gonna have to get one more error score from somewhere. At least Celestial Navigation. Okay, let's stop doing that. Go back to just ironworking, dude. Okay, maybe if we convert one city and I send this galley out to try and go meet some people. If we meet one other civ, I think that should do it. And we got another builder here in Cairo because our yields are trash here. Let's see if I meet one more civ. Okay, I'm trying to remember. Okay, we have Portugal down here. We've already met um, Italy. He should be right about here. But Sweden and Norway, we are yet to. How long to get over there? Six turns? Dang, it's going to be tough to go all the way over. But this might work out. We'll just have to see. It's a long shot. I'm trying to think if there's any other sieves that would be on Europe. I don't think there is. Let's move our way back here. Look at this. A new city-state. Geneva. And that doesn't give us hero score. It's too bad. Geneva's getting destroyed, too. I bet by the... No! I did not mean to move you that way, dude. No! Oh, man. It is hard out here. You know what? Maybe if we get a swordsman upgraded, let's just pray that that gives you arrow score. Wow, big offer here, though, from the Ethiopians. 10 gold for turn um, and open borders. Yes, I'm definitely picking that up. Classical era ends in just five turns. There's still no majority religion if I if I flip this guy here. Baruta just got so much damn religious pressure. It's impossible to change it. So I guess you just chill here, buddy. It's not looking good, though, now. Three turns till growth. It looks like the city went from two to three in just, like, seven turns. That's the pace it's on. You can get some more food from this reef tile. So this next, like, ten turns are pretty set, and then I can get on to being a big production man. As for his next production in the audience chamber, sorry, in the government plaza, we're going audience chamber. Okay, this gives you amenities, housing with governors. And, dude, we're only going to have four cities, it looks like. So those guys are all going to have governors. It takes a long time to produce though, but honestly, so does everything else. So sure, let's do that. Uh, that number is gonna come way down once our population grows a bit. Like once we hit four population, we'll start working on this iron. Once we hit five, we'll be working on the obsidian and we'll be getting a lot more, we'll like double, triple our production by working those two tiles. Okay, classical era ends in four turns. I think I'm gonna get screwed out of 
seeing the eastern side of Africa just because Mogadishu is sitting right here taking up the borders. But I will be able to upgrade to Swordsman in just three turns. So I don't think that gives you three arrow score. But that's pretty much all we got at this point, dudes. Oh, Egyptians making another mistake, buddy. Stay out of the water. Now, I might be making a mistake because this district over here. Oh, check it out. Meteor shower. Something's going to get buffed right there, fellas. Something's getting buffed. Definitely want to get that tile. Especially when Baruta's right here. Trying to expand, take all my nice desert tiles. You know what? I definitely have a good chance of being able to take this and not die. But just the prospect of this district health. Sorry, this uh, this wall firing down at me and the chariot archer. I'm a bit worried that I will get destroyed. So let's go for Helmsman here. Get this guy promoted. Keep him safe. And we'll do some more spawn with this dude. And this dude. Will you meet someone? No. Dang, we close though. We close two turns. Can we find three arrow score? Oh, look at that. Heavy chariots promoted. Maybe he'll come closer to me, man. Just come a little closer. Classical era. Okay, iron working. Evidently, this counts as era score. I love to see that. Oh, that is a, ca a classical era tech. Wow, I'm so smart. Let's upgrade our swordsman too and pray. Just pray that gives me era score. No era score. Dang it. We just need one more though. How are we going to get it, dudes? Maybe up north here. Oh, check it out. Sweden is right here. Yeah, let's walk around the side. <gasps> there we go. Sweden, oh my goodness. I have not wanted to meet someone any more than I have met you, my friend. Check it out, golden age. Dude, we are gonna get this city settled down. Things are gonna be good. We're gonna have more than three cities. We're gonna have a whole four. They're not ready for the four cities. Next decision is how do we get this settler? 440 gold. Okay, so we just gotta wait, what, three turns for that? I think that's worth waiting. Uh, actually doing it with production. Didn't take a little bit too long there, buddy. What we can do though is just make more builders. More, more, and more builders. Once this guy's done, I think we should finally have enough builders. And it's a shame my fishes are being stood on by this heavy chariot. Will Cleopatra make peace? Equitable. No. Nothing she wants to make peace for. Okay. Maybe we need to inflict some pain upon her. So I'm not sure exactly what this builder will do, but maybe you go towards Santa a bit. This guy though, fixing up crabs, all the sea resources, resources getting boosted, harbors now. We'll put that down in Medina here in just three turns when this granary is completed. Oh wow, because we got those crabs, the housing situation's improved, so we can stop working so much dang production and get back on the growth train, guys. Sure, let's go growth all the way. Um, and then this tile on the side. No, yeah, you go back for growth. And this means the granary is gonna take obscenely long, obscenely long to make because we're working literally zero production tiles, but soon the city will grow and then we can move back to the production. But another thing about this more, even when we get back to five out of six housing and we wanna stop working food, you can't just stop working food because that's all there is here is working food. So I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. We need to make sure we're still working some production because uh, once the city grows, we will inevitably be sort of wasting some of this food because these t like you can't just work a desert tile. <laughs> There's no production on those. Celestial navigation is big time though. I'm gonna place down, plan out where my first harbor is gonna go. And I, and I might want one in Santa as well, as well as Cairo. But we need more holy sites going on too. Like There's so much religious pressure in this part of the map. You've got Phoenicia, you've got India over here, all pumping out religious units. And I mean, oh dude, it's just Medina that still has our religion? Dude. At least I have this missionary here. I can send them back home. But yeah, we need to have a holy site in these cities ASAP so that we can keep our religion alive. I can't mess around anymore, dude. Let's put the holy site down here. Medina, you're gonna go on a production mode. Okay, lock in two production tiles. The game says that'll still take 20 turns. It's a very long time. Aha, the enemy heavy chariot making a grave mistake coming at me during the golden age, buddy. All right, now everyone's gonna talk about they like my golden age, how they don't like my golden age. Like, just focus on your own ages, bud. So I've been swatching out policies. Okay, we don't need more naval units. I do want more builders for five turns at least. Um, let's look at this. Theology, oh, just six. I'm a bit confused when these uh, cultures became so dang cheap, but not gonna complain. Let's put in diplomatic lead because we do have an envoy. It's super nice. And finally, let's actually go God King. Now, usually a pretty trash card that I don't pick, but we don't have anything else we really want. It's either that or conscription, and I'd rather have the one faith over three gold. Boom. Okay, it looks like our holy city is gonna convert. That's awful. Um, if I go here, okay, I won't become pandas. 
If I come down to sauna. Okay, it looks like that's going to be converted to Judaism quite soon, too. Dude, why are these guys here taking out my religion? It's just so dang rude. But at least we get rid of this heavy chariot. Don't go in the seas, bud. You're going to get totally slapped up. Just like that. And let's get this builder close to Medina. Uh, maybe we can get this Plains Hills upgraded. Uh, and just hope the city can make a little bit more production so we can get our holy site in our last faithful city in the whole dang place. Almost got no pressure anyways. If anyone came through here, <clears throat> we're really on the ropes, dude. We're really on the ropes. We gotta go Exodus of the, of the Evangelist. This is gonna make our faith units stronger, more charges. And we get four free faith per turn. The issue right now though is just like, okay, where am I gonna use this faith? Because I don't have any cities that have my religion that I have a holy site in. Ooh, big offer from the Phoenicians though for gold. Thank you, I'll take that. World Congress, 100% production towards buildings in this district. Let's go for city center because I'm a noob and it's hard out here. Uh, and then I want Cleopatra to go to war with people. So we'll make them generate grievances. Let's see what the world says though. I'm just one small guy and a lot. Okay, city center, that's beautiful. And public relations went to an unmet player. Oh, dude, man at arms in the sea. Not a nice man at arms in the sea. This guy better not come into my land. It's gonna be a terrible time for me. No, another city state stopping my searches. We're boxed in here, guys. Let's see what this man at arm does. If it comes onto our land, I think we're pretty much screwed. Like there's nothing we can do. Oh no, another one made it into the sea. Where's it gonna go? We're voting again. Hopefully it's everyone saying that Egypt sucks. Oh, Peter, nice to meet you, buddy. Wait, are we gonna meet a ton of people right now? In Japan. Interesting, so a bunch of failed military emergencies and some aid requests passed to people we don't know but we met a ton of people during that time which is kind of cool but let's not waste time let's fight these guys in the seas but we still have the advantage men at arms pretty much fighting my galley like for like that's tough um and then another man at arms over here in the sea let's keep my archer near the city so it can get a, a bonus from being in the city when it attacks and then also got to keep in mind where the swordsman lives Let's keep him near the fight. Thanks for watching Panda Gang. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna actually pay for Windows, so make sure to subscribe. Peace.